Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Sarah, and today I am going to be walking y'all through a TJ Maxx shop with me. So I was going through TJ Maxx pretty recently, like just a few days ago. There were so many interesting finds that I felt like it was worth filming and just showing y'all. I love TJ Maxx. There's a particular location that I absolutely love. They always have such amazing products like clothes and all this other home stuff, but I really love TJ Maxx. And at that same location in Texas, I found some really cool skincare. So I wanted to share that with y'all in a simple video talking about it. So maybe y'all can go to TJ Maxx nearby and let me know if y'all happen to purchase any of these products and what your thoughts are. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all what some of the skincare finds were whenever I went to TJ Maxx. I'm going to tell you guys which products I would actually go back to purchase. So I came across this Tatcha sampler set and I was pretty impressed because I've never seen Tatcha in TJ Maxx so I was pretty surprised. After looking it up online, normally these sampling sets are like $72 and then there was some vital proteins. and. I've never heard of this company, but Manuka Honey is really, really awesome. I was a little hesitant about the peppermint, though. Another Tatcha set, different ones, so I thought that was really cool. And $62 is not bad at all. And then I came across this Gold Snail Hydrogel Eye Patch because I didn't know if these were the ones that you could just pop in the freezer and then reuse them, so I ended up not getting those. Then I came across this Shiseido Night Emulsion Moisturizer. This was only $40 at TJ Maxx and I looked it up and this is actually a discontinued skincare product. Um, I think they discontinued it around 2021 but normally it runs around $60. But I didn't want to try this product because if it's discontinued then I don't want to get attached to it and then I have nowhere to buy it. So I then came across these Alba Acne Patches. They were $6 for a 40 count. Um, but when I looked at the ingredients, it had tea tree oil, which can be really irritating to your skin. And then it also had witch hazel, which I mean, it's okay. But looking at it, I just feel like the only good thing that'll come from this acne patch is just drying out the area. But it won't really do anything to target the acne. Then I came across this First Aid Beauty Intense Hydration Cream. This was about $8. Honestly, I know First Aid Beauty is a really hyped up um, skincare brand, but I bought a few of their hand creams and it was just really oily. And I know that this contains colloidal oatmeal, which is supposed to help with eczema, but their other products that contain the same ingredient didn't do anything for the eczema on my hands or my body. So I just haven't been impressed with them. So I really didn't want to purchase it. Then I came across this different balancing moisturizer. This was um, around $5, which is absolutely insane. Y'all know I love Different, okay? That is a brand that I really stand behind. I have tried multiple products of theirs, my favorite one being the Different Gel, and I just really love the brand. It contains glycerin, vitamin E. Um, I was concerned about the citric acid, but citric acid, when I looked it up, it does help control the pH and it does aid in exfoliation. So I feel like this was a pretty decent balancing moisturizer. Um, I didn't purchase it, but after looking it up, it's normally $19. So for it being $5 at TJ Maxx, that was a steal and I'm really sad that I did not purchase it. I also found some more of my Vermont's Bag Balm. That is a bomb product. I absolutely love it. And um, it was only about $5. Next, I came across this really interesting product, which was the Humble Company Toothpaste Tablets. This was about $5, and um, normally it runs around $8 after looking it up. I think it's a really cool concept, you know, they're eco-friendly, um, they really try to reduce the waste to the environment, but my question is, how effective is the toothpaste? Like, does it actually do a really good job? Is each tablet enough for one brush? Do you use two tablets in one brush? Like, I had so many questions, so I decided not to purchase it. 
The next product that I came across that I actually purchased was the Saint-Tropez Tan and Shower. So this was about $10 and after looking it up, it's about $25 on Amazon. So I was like, this is a steal. The reviews that I read, you know, you do have to follow the instructions and you have to make sure that you leave enough time for the product to sit in and then you rinse it off. So I was pretty stoked to try it. Um, I do like the idea of a rinse off treatment instead of leaving the product on to tan overnight just in case it is splotchy so in case there's like user error I feel like this was more forgiving. The next product that I came across was the Onyx Cracked Heel Stick. This was about six dollars in TJ Maxx and on Amazon it's about thirteen dollars. So I thought this was really interesting because you can actually use this stick without a sock so it'll still stay on your feet um, so I've been looking for a way to moisturize my heels during the day without having to wear a sock so I was very intrigued with this one the ones that I would actually go back to TJ Maxx like tomorrow if I have time the first one being the different balancing moisturizer a lot of different products I really I really love it works well with my skin my favorite product obviously being the different gel which is adapalene that has worked wonders for my acne the texture of my skin the dark marks the line on my forehead like I have just had such great success using different I am a big fan of different and looking at the ingredients with this product I feel like my skin would really enjoy it and it being five dollars you really can't beat that the next product that I would repurchase is the obvious Vermont bag bomb that that's my favorite lip moisturizer for nighttime. It stays on my lips throughout the entire night, which is pretty impressive considering I, I toss and I turn throughout the night. So I'm constantly like moving. I'm just like a very active sleeper. In the morning, I still have the skincare product on my lips. So I feel like that's so impressive and it's really helped with my dry lips so I don't really struggle with dryness anymore. With it only being five dollars I do save a few bucks on it and what more do I need? The next product that I would go back and repurchase as well is the Saint-Tropez Tan in Shower. So what I thought was really cool about this product is that I don't have to let it stay on my skin. It's not a leave-on treatment. I just rinse it off in the shower. Yes, it's a little bit um, particular or very specific with instructions. You have to do it correctly for you to see results. But just due to the cost, it's only $10 compared to $25 on Amazon. That's such a steal. And from the reviews that I've read, people have had great success with it. So I feel like this is just a steal. I think that this is a great product. I've already used it a few times. I'm pretty impressed with it because it didn't irritate my skin or break me out or anything like that. And the last product that I would go back to purchase is the Honest cracked heel stick so it's only six dollars compared to the thirteen dollar price tag on Amazon you can even use it without any socks so I am very familiar with the wrap method when it comes to foot treatment so basically you put the cream the moisturizer the very thick occlusive on your feet and then you would wear a sock or use some type of wrap to help seal in that moisture but with this heel stick you can actually use it during the day without any socks and the product should stay on so I'm very curious to see if that is true and with it only being six dollars that's not even expensive and I do save a pretty good amount of money on it I would purchase it out of curiosity and to see if it does anything for my heels during the day like when I go to work. Alright and that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative. If y'all have tried any of these products that I mentioned and you have feedback on it or you have a review or whatever it is, comment down below because I am so curious to see if you know these products actually live up to the hype, if they actually do anything. Yeah I would love to know. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you want me to try any skincare products that I haven't mentioned already on my channel or in this video, whatever it may be, please don't hesitate to comment down below and I will do a review just for you. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and stay tuned. I post every single Monday. And quick side note, I noticed that I have finally reached at least 600 subscribers so I wanted to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you so much to every single one of y'all who continue to like my videos. 
who comment and subscribe to my channel. Y'all are honestly the best. I can't express enough gratitude to every single one of y'all. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate y'all.